blastocyst is an embryo that's about five to six days old, where it forms a bowl of cells with a cavity filled with fluid. And the cells are divided into two groups, a group that's surrounding the bowl and a group that are inside to one side of the bowl. The cells inside called the inner cell mass, and this will develop eventually to form the baby. The cells that surrounding the embryo or the, on the outside are the outer cell mass, which will eventually develop and form the placenta. ICSI is intracytoplasm, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, where we pick up the sperm one by one under the microscope and inject one sperm into each egg. It's particularly useful in a couple who have low sperm count or reduced motility or high percentage of abnormal forms. Because if we mix the egg with the sperm, there's an increased risk of failure of fertilization. And by picking one good looking normal sperm one by one and inject them to the egg, that will significantly improve the chance of fertilized eggs and achieving pregnancy. Pixie is a technique to select the sperm with the probably mature DNA in their head. Basically, we mix the sperm with a drop of hyaluronone or hyaluronic acid on a slide. And the hyaluronone is the material in the egg shell that attracts the sperm and invites the sperm to fertilize the eggs. And the, egg, the sperm with the mature DNA in the head will respond to that chemotaxis and move toward this uh, hyaluronone to fertilize the eggs. So if you make the sperm with the drop of hyaluronone on the slide, some of the sperm will move towards the uh, hyaluronone and obviously these sperm who know where to go. And some sperm will be moving away and these probably with less mature DNA. So we pick up one by one from those who are attached or moving toward the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid drop and use them to fertilize the eggs. Ovulation induction is basically giving the patient some medicine in the form of tablets or injections or combined to make her produce uh, a number of eggs. And at the time of ovulation, we inject the sperm into the womb or we can advise the couple to have sex at home to achieve pregnancy. When we do ovulation induction, we need to monitor the patient very closely because we want the patient to produce one or two or maximum three follicles. Otherwise, we carry a high risk of multiple pregnancy. Frozen embryo replacement is basically getting an embryo from the freezer, defrost it or throw the embryo and put it back in the womb. So normally when we do IVF, we put one or mainly maximum two embryos back into the mother and the surplus embryos, if they are good enough, we freeze them for future use. So to complete the family or to come back to them if in case the first treatment does not work. When we use the frozen embryos, we prepare the lining of the womb to get good thickness and good shape. And when the, when the lining is ready, we defrost the embryo and put it back into the womb. 